Hey what is up guys it's your boy Michelangelo here bringing you another video so we're gonna be going on with Batman the enemy within the Telltale series episode 1 the Enigma this is part 2 of this video as usual if you enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time The agency, the public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. Well, things won't be easy with a bunch of spies nearby. They're well-equipped spies, too. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to talk to Lucius about upgrades. Try and level the playing field. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. Oh, my God! My God! I take everything back. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years.
there's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. He gave this to me at a casino. Card games. Maybe a jack. Specifically a one-eyed jack. But he's on the card twice, showing both eyes. Besides, he can still see. So it's probably not that. Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. The eye of a hurricane. It fits the description in the riddle, but I'm not sure how it helps us. Even if there were hurricanes in Gotham, it's hard to imagine one helping us with the object in question. If that is indeed the key. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. needle halfway there Batman means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain to be honest you're already doing better than I thought but don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself unless you want to see me tear this city apart I suppose you're going to look in there an open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, and, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. Good hunting, Bruce. I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with the GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. 
The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, just some tax papers. Accounting is doing an audit or something. Well, you shouldn't have to be burdened with that. I can take them. It's okay. I got it. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... No, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Micro pulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Like, uh, someone who needs another four hours of sleep? That's because you work too hard. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a man who pretty much lives in his lab. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like, whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh, micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Something your dad has been working on? Lucius, care to explain? Oh, it's nothing. Just an old piece of tech that found its way into my lab. But what does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. 
I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? Oh, well, well, I'll let him tell you himself, but, uh, he hasn't been doing so great since the kidnapping last year. Oh, no. Yeah, every now and then his, uh, hands start shaking. I'd like him to see a therapist, but you know Alfred. Well, maybe I can convince him. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help. If we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. She's family, after all. You know how dangerous our business is. I couldn't live with myself if something happened to Tiffany. I'm just gonna have to say no. It's your secret to tell. Yes, it is. May I just say, uh, burdens are lighter when carried by many. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long. This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh... What is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend, Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. But criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm not sure I like where this conversation is going. Well, this probably isn't going to help. I think you'd know him as John Doe. 
We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. You've got to be kidding me. He's no friend of mine. That's why you came here to ask me about that guy? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I wasn't myself at the time, okay? I, I was... Drugged by Lady Arkham. I know the story. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. <laughs> and your point is what exactly, that... I'm some kind of criminal mastermind. Or just really unlucky. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. Get the hell out of my... That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. Might still be able to disable it, but... Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius... We really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany... I'm gonna take care of your family... as if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him and bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. 
Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Tiffany, I, I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. That uh, sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. How... How can you even ask me that? You have to believe me. I would never put Lucius in harm's way. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It's just... I'm so angry. I just don't know who to blame. I miss him so much. Service is starting. You should go be with your family. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. <sighs> so sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, right? Yeah, for that, we can all be grateful. You... 
you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. He seems popular. Hey, hey, how about giving Tiffany some space? Huh? Bruce! <laughs> Buddy! It's good to see you. Come on, man. She's been through a lot. You're absolutely right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something, just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. You think this is funny? My friend is dead. Oh, I got it wrong, didn't I? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. I've gotta be quiet as church mice, right? <sighs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. You're crazy if you think any of that matters now. Crazy's not a very nice word, Bruce. It's, it's derogatory, and Dr. Leland says that people use it as a weapon. Blessed are those who mourn. Or they will be comforted. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Gosh, John, I don't know. My schedule's just so packed these days. Please don't blow me off. Not after what we went through together. Maybe try my secretary. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> you know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. Jesus makes me want. I 
And then I'll flash out. Shh. We're here to mourn. Please, use us me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Oh, easy, easy, John. Take a deep breath, okay? Calm down. You're right. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. If I ever get my hands on him, I will tear him apart. Oh, you don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me. We've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'll do you that favor you asked for, John. Okay, just tell me what you know about the Riddler. Jeez. <laughs> well, if it means that much to you. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Enjoying the view? Uh, hard to do these days. It's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Uh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne has a talent for finding himself in the crosshairs. Uh, you can say that again. You said you had a lead on Riddler. 
hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not given up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. 